What's up, everybody? My name's Tom. Welcome to Kill Rock Gaming, or welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. Todd, what's going on, man? How you doing? <clears throat> All right, yeah, uh, it's been like a week. Oh, thank you. I did, uh, I did a few little changes. Um, mostly, uh, I just kind of cleaned it up. I, I was getting way... Uh, way too absorbed with uh with like follower and, and subscriber stuff and and all that that kind of kind of jazz and i just uh i decided you know what i just want to go much simpler than that i mean i appreciate everything that, that everybody does as far as support wise um but i you know i i don't want to i don't want that to become like the focus of the the layout basically and that's kind of what was happening um and just didn't really like that. Um, <clears throat> also took some time to just kind of sort some stuff out. Uh, wasn't wasn't really enjoying streaming uh, uh, the last uh, week that I was doing it before I kind of took a break and uh, just kind of had to had to figure out what I wanted to do with it. Um, I'd been feeling incredibly discouraged and unmotivated uh, recently uh, about streaming, but uh, I I really do enjoy it and uh, I definitely missed it, uh, but. I don't know, I think the time away was actually, uh, was better in the long run, or will be better in the long run. Wow, feels like it's been forever. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I worked on some animation stuff for, uh, um, notifications, which, uh, I'm hoping to have those actually implemented within the next couple of days. Uh, I ended up, I was doing a lot of experimenting and, and stuff like that. Those, uh, oh, nice, nice. How, uh, how are you doing, man? Uh, oh, by the way, we're going to play Demon Souls. Um, I have not played this in a long time, so this should be uh, very interesting, actually. I have no idea what kind of class I'm going to play. Uh, I just figured I'm going to start and then uh, kind of decide as I go. Um, yeah, that's, that's about as far as I've gotten with it. Uh, but uh, hopefully... Hopefully it'll go well and I won't get bored with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I do like this game. Uh, I would say out of all of the Souls, uh, Bloodborne, you know, uh, Soulsborne games, I have played this the least and know the least about this game in particular. Uh, I still know quite a bit about it, but it's uh, secondhand knowledge. Um, yeah, I, I'm also using my uh, PS4 controller with my PS3. Uh, it's the first time I'm, I'm trying this, so hopefully... It works pretty well so far. It seems to be uh, seems to be pretty good. Uh, don't really like the PS3 controller. The uh, the thumbs the analog sticks just don't feel right to me. I don't I don't really know how to how to explain it. Uh, the other problem is it's kind of an old PS3 controller, so all of the uh, all the grip on the the analog sticks is gone. So my thumb just constantly slips off of it. I don't know, uh, the PS4 analog sticks are, are really nice. I, I have no problem with those whatsoever. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of the uh, uh, convex uh, analog sticks. I mean, it wasn't bad on PS2 and PS1 because we didn't know any better. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad they went to a more uh, convex kind of, uh, kind of a shape. Yeah, I mean, the main reason I have a PS3 is for the PlayStation 1 games available on PSN. That's realistically, and Demon's Souls, that's the main reasons that I, I bought a PS3. And I bought a PS3 long, long after, it, you know, it had been out. So I paid like, I don't know, I think $35 for a PS3. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one of the uh, original model ones. Um... Because that would have been that would have been nice if I could have found. Because uh, I don't need a lot of hard drive space. So, but having that backwards compatibility would have been really cool. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's start. I am playing offline so I can ma manipulate uh, world tendency. Otherwise, uh, if you go online now, it's just constantly white. Just it's always br just bright white world tendency. Oh, dude! I, I mean, a used PS3 is incredibly cheap.
All right. Um, I'll just go with a uh, just a staple name. We'll go with Gren. And good start. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? That's the question. That's the question. What do I want to do? I mean, it's really, it's really going to be a toss-up between um, magic or melee. I mean, realistically, it's it's going to be one of those two. I just don't know which one. Uh, usually if I'm gonna do warrior of some sort, I, I generally start with the soldier because the, uh, the sword that he has, has bleed on it, if I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah, having a weapon with bleed this early in the game, pretty nice. Uh, there's also the royal, which, um, arguably the most broken starting class in the game, if you want it to be. Um, yes, magic is pretty broken in this game, or can be, uh, if you, if you want it to be. Uh, I mean, you can still play mage and not, um, not break the game. But I think it's, it's been a while. It's been so long. I, I think I'm just going to go with a, uh, I'm just going to go with the soldier. I think, like I said, I like the starting sword. Um, I mean, nice, pretty good too. Uh, long sword is really good. hundred percent block shield. And edit appearance. I'm not gonna take a whole lot of time on on this. Just kind of change a few things, make them old. Um, what kind of hair? Yeah, that's that's about as good as it's gonna get. That's one thing about the uh, Demon Souls. Uh, they. Um, they definitely up to their uh, character creation. I mean, you can still do a lot of the same. I mean, you can spend a long time in this character creation as well. But you, I don't know. I never was able to really come up with anything that uh, that I actually liked. Uh, the other thing that I really liked that they started doing was letting you save uh, character um, character creation profiles. Both Bloodborne and Demon Souls, uh, or Dark Souls 3, I, I, I spent probably a good 10 hours total uh, so far just creating characters and, you know, saving them. Anyway. Alright, that looks, uh, that looks good. Uh, like I said, I really have not played Demon Souls a whole lot. I mean, I've gotten... I know I've gotten to the end because I, I remember I remember running past the dragon, which is basically the end of the game. I mean, you still got one kind of fight to go uh, after that, but that's basically the end of the game. But yeah, I remember running past the dragon, uh, all that type of stuff. So, uh, But I don't think I've actually ever beat the game. Yeah, having to say profiles is, is really, really nice. Uh, so my knowledge of this game firsthand is uh, pretty limited compared to the other Souls games and, and Bloodborne. Um, but like I said, I do have quite a bit of secondhand knowledge just from, uh, uh, other people talking about it, uh, watching, uh, YouTube playthroughs, speedruns, stuff like that. So I'm also going to be looking at a lot of uh, lore and stuff like that, uh, and you know, kind of taking my time. This isn't going to be a rush playthrough or, or anything like that. Oh yeah, I think uh, I think I think you just gotten it done the last day that I streamed uh, before I I took that break or unintended break, but. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome, man. The demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon's soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. 
mighty warriors were drawn to the attack. There's, there's something about the presentation of Demon Souls that I really, uh, really appreciate in comparison to the other, other games. There's like a... I, I can't really explain like a like just like a, a slickness to it that's I don't know it's it's hard to explain there's there's just a certain look that it has that the other games don't have that uh, that I that I like oh yeah yeah no uh, having uh, having good teeth is uh, a really good feeling. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I've uh, I've been needing to get a new chair for a little while myself. I was trying to break this one so I could uh, get it before the warranty ran out because I had a three three year warranty on it. That, uh, but unfortunately, that ran up or ran out. Uh, what, like I don't know, six months ago or something like that. Uh, but there's like virtually no padding left in the uh, the seat of the chair. Also, I want to get something that's a, a shorter back and not quite as big. That way, it uh, it doesn't show up on stream actually. All right, and I'm going to play through the tutorial. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. I mean, other than the padding being gone, it's it's really a nice chair. I mean, I so that you may love the old I'm glad that I bought it when I did, but uh if I had if I had known what was going to be you know later down the road, I probably would have gotten something just a little a um, little smaller, uh, you know, not quite as large of a back on it, stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, really, all I need to do is uh, just get you know. Go and get some uh, foam padding or um, like a just a replacement uh, seat cushion or, or you know something like that, and it should it would be fine. Oh, gotta gotta remember the controls. Okay, so unequip that, unequip that, unequip that, uh, and unequip that. All right, I should be able to fast roll. Yeah. All right, cool. Controller seems to be working uh, just fine. Oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna attack me. I was gonna say, oh, let me uh, let me parry this guy, but he doesn't he doesn't attack you. This guy will attack. I can I can practice parrying. Okay. It feels feels really uh really responsive, uh, which is nice. Uh, and not having my thumb slip off the analog stick every time I try and turn or. Uh, uh, use the camera or something is really nice. Wow, I was pairing way, way too early. I'm I'm used to uh, like Dark Souls two and three, where you have to parry way earlier than uh, the actual attack. Oh man, it's it's been so long. And guys can jump down the stairs. I never even target that guy. Oh, the other the other thing with Demon Souls, the uh, the experience gain way way lower uh, from from enemies than in the uh, the other Souls games. I accidentally missed this grass one time. I just completely uh, I went to grab it and just kind of fell over the side as I uh, went to stop. Oh, that too soon.
This is I don't think this is 100% block. No, oh, maybe it is. Do 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 do. Damn, I don't remember where all the stats are. Um, let's see. Damage reduction, 90%, okay. I didn't think this was a 100% block shield. I think I still got hit by that guy. Wow, I can... My parrying is way off. Yeah, I'm pairing way, way too soon. Way too soon. Damn, that sucks. He already used uh, four grasses. That's that's not cool. I don't. Know, I I always tend to play through the tutorial whenever I uh, whenever I play, just because there's a bunch of items in here that uh, are really nice to get in the beginning. Oh shit, I completely forgot that yeah, it heals you. If I had remembered remembered that, I would not have used that uh that grass. Damn it. Like I said, it's it's been a little while. Alright, coming up on our first uh blue eyes knight. Which basically like black knights. Oh, that was way too soon. The uh, the real fun part is going to be the uh, Red Eyes Knight. Because I'm definitely going to fight him. And I'm probably going to lose uh, at least two or three times to him. I, I almost guarantee it. Half moon grass, a uh, stronger version of healing. Oh, would you drop? Ah, oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I don't remember if that's a guaranteed drop from that guy or if that is um, uh, just a chance drop. Oh, and the other thing that's so nice about Demon Souls, no jump. If I'm running and I hit circle, I roll, which is exactly the way I want it. All right, and I'm run back here. Grab this. Uh, I'm not spending a whole lot of time here just because I've played this tutorial many, many, many times. Alright, there's a very, very good possibility that uh, this guy is going to kill me. Oh, you're flying. Okay. Uh oh oh no 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 ah son of a bitch So now, normally, I would uh, load into here and then exit and restart and go back through the tutorial until I beat him. Damn it. 
Damn, I can't believe I lost to him. Problem was, I was trying to go around his right side when I should have been going around the left side for that particular attack. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Not exit the nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect it. You have died, and the nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the nexus. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. Maxial Binding. Uh, that is basically uh, Fire... Uh, uh, Firebrand? No. Um, what the hell is it called? Um, shit, I don't remember the name of it. Because uh, I never used the item. Uh, but it does the same thing in Dark Souls. Where you, uh, you can teleport, but uh, you lose all your souls. And Demon Souls definitely has way more people just kind of in the, the main hub area than uh, than the other games. Actually, you know what? I guess uh, not not so much. Because uh, if I think about it, like Dark Souls 3 has uh, one, two, three, four people. Uh, two of which uh, are actually useful, which these two are useful. This is Blacksmith. Mm. You're new here? Do you hear for my services? The name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? That's cool. I mean, that's. I haven't played Demon Souls enough to have a full opinion of it like I do with the other Souls games and, and Bloodborne. Um, but there's definitely things about Demon Souls that I really like. There are some things about Demon Souls that I don't like, but uh, I can say that about every game that I've ever played. Uh, so, repair, upgrade, repair, buy. Go ahead and leave that. I can tell you're not gonna last long here. Oh uh, well, yeah. I mean, in, in terms of like Souls games, uh, Bloodborne, you know, the stuff like the Soulsborne, uh, you know, catalog of games. Generally speaking, the first one you play is the one you're gonna like the most. I didn't play Demon Souls because I didn't have a PS3 and I couldn't afford one at the time. Um, but I had an Xbox, so I played Dark Souls. All right, uh, I'm gonna run around the Nexus and uh, grab a couple items real quick. Play Oh, nice, nice. Oh, I bet. I mean, this is this is definitely one of those games. I mean, this is like the Souls games are are like uh, like PS1 RPGs were to me, where like I would buy a PS1 RPG and nine out of ten times I knew that I was getting. A lot of game like you know grind like you know when you just you only have those couple games to play type of thing wait where oh shit I'm I'm in the wrong place No, no, I'm in the right place. What am I talking about? God, it's been forever. 
<laughs> that's uh, that's definitely another thing. The the distance with which you can fall in this game compared to the other games is way way more forgiving. Oh, no, oh, definitely. Definitely. Ooh, I almost just fell off. Renowned Soldier Soul. And, you know, I actually don't remember what the other, uh, what the other item is. <laughs> that is the nice thing about these games there's st there's things that i mean like there was something in uh uh dark souls one i think it was that i just never realized was actually there uh like until this most recent time of, of playing through i can't remember what it was but it was like some uh it was like some, you know, just some item off, uh, uh, oh, oh, it was, uh, some, uh, an item in Isolith that's, like, behind some stairs in the very beginning, in the very beginning of the area. Like, I just never went back there, never knew it was there. Uh, I try to collect everything. Even if I'm not gonna use it, I still, I still have to get it, um... And I'm, I'm going to do the same thing on this. I'm going to try and get as many items as I as I can. I'm really tempted to start over and redo the tutorial. Like, I'm just because I, I really want to get those souls and uh, upgrade material. I used to restart Souls games so much that character names started just becoming letters. And I would I would go like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, go all the way through the alphabet. And once I got through the alphabet, I would start adding numbers to the end of it. I restarted way, way too many times. Uh, same thing with uh, Skyrim. Skyrim and Fallout are two games that I have restarted. I've probably put more time into restarting Fallout 4 than I have actually playing Fallout 4. <laughs> yeah yeah oh wait no i don't want knight i want soldier i'll make the i'll make it fast though um but i might you know screw it i'm probably gonna end up starting over a bunch of times until i beat the uh the tutorial Although I have to say, the game actually does feel a lot better with a with the the PS4 controller. Like the character doesn't feel quite as uh, like squirrely. Uh, I, I guess is the best way to put it. I think that was more a product of the uh, the way the analog sticks felt on PS3. Uh, like they just had way too much give to them. Um, whereas uh, PS4 analog sticks uh, have a lot more resistance to them, which uh, I definitely prefer.
Oh, you know, I didn't even go in and, like, check my options, make sure everything's set. Oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna turn that down and turn the sound effects down slightly. Oh, Chris, what's up, man? Oh, shit. Thanks for the sub. Damn, three months. Holy crap. Thank you. That is awesome. How you been? How's, uh, how's school going for you? I'm uh, I'm playing through the tutorial again because I did um I died to the tutorial boss. You know, I kind of didn't even realize it was Labor Day until I saw a bunch of stuff saying it was Labor Day. Uh, for me, it was just it, it was just another day. Uh, but it, it's been pretty good so far. So no uh, no complaints on my end. This time, I'm going to remember that uh, this teleport heals you and not waste the uh, uh, the grass on it. I have a feeling playing this and then going back to like Dark Souls 3 or something, my parrying is going to be really, really off in, uh, in that game. Like I'm parrying too soon in this game because you, the parry window is uh, much, much later. Or well, it's the parry window when you parry is much earlier. Uh, so you don't have, you can basically uh, react to, to hits instead of having to kind of predict them uh, like in 3. Oh, I did the same thing last time. Eh, yeah, partial berry. Eh, yeah, it still works. There's a reason this guy blocks so much. There, There's a message back there that tells you to two-hand your weapon. And uh, I'm pretty much guessing that they want to show you that hey if you two-hand your weapon you can break uh shield you know you can break somebody's guard basically damn that blue knight took off a lot of health i'm still gonna end up having to use some grass that sucks Come on. Stay still. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh no, it is on uh PS3. Uh who knows, they might play they might put it on PS4. It is a uh, Sony property, so it is very possible that they may put it on PS4. That would be awesome if they did like a, a re-release of it or something. Um but as it stands right now, the only way to play it is either uh, emulation on a uh, on PC or PS3. I'm actually going to use that. I will pick up a lot more half moon grass by the time I actually need half moon grass. Uh, yeah, Demon Souls is the one that I have played the least out of uh, all of the Soulsborne games uh, I've gotten all the way to the end of the game I just don't 
remember actually beating the game like i remember going through uh you know a lot of the bosses i remember the areas but i don't actually remember beating that guy two more half moon grass i missed that item probably four or five times the first time i came in uh first time i played the tutorial i don't know why i just never thought to go that way Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I was working at uh, GameStop at the time, uh, and you know, a l pretty much everybody was talking about, you know, or well, I shouldn't say everybody, but uh, Demon Souls definitely. Uh, a lot of people talked about it. A lot of people looked for it. Um, but yeah, at the time, I just I didn't I didn't have a PS3 at the time myself. I don't. I picked up a PS3 specifically to play this game, um, and I picked it up for like thirty-five bucks. Oh, this is going to take a little while. Just just so you know. <laughs> oh, that was that was bad on my part. Ah, oh, damn it. I always forget that like his actual body can um can damage you. Like if you get too close to him. He is way too close to that wall. Uh, nice thing is I am, he is, he is affected by bleed, so I have been uh, have been getting uh, bleed damage in on him, which is really nice. Yeah, I keep I keep getting tagged by like his foot. Yeah, the, the AoE on that is way, way less than uh, it is in Dark Souls for the uh, Asylum Demon and Stray Demon. And Fire Sage. You know, all the demon guys. Wow, I really need to stop dodging that way. His backswing is going to hit me. I know it is. Hmm. You know, I should really heal as well. I can't really take uh, a hit from him at all. I mean, I could barely probably take a hit from him when he, uh, if I had full health. If I had all my armor on, I could definitely take probably one hit. Uh, but wanting to, uh, to fast roll, I don't have a whole lot of armor. Okay, cool. I am perfectly fine with him uh, just doing that. Ah, shit. Oh, are you kidding me? What the hell? Wow. Really? Son of a bitch. That's how it's going to be. That's that's how we're going to start the night. I'm, I'm going to beat the tutorial boss because I want the upgrades. The souls that you get from him are, I think you get like 500 souls. Uh, but it's the upgrade materials that I want more. I can't, ah oh man, I can't believe I lost him again.
See, these are the, this is the thing that I fight every time I stream a game like this. In any Souls game or anything like that, I, I fight the urge to restart like four times, five times. Not today. Screw it. Oh, son of a bitch, I started as the wrong class. Oh, well. So I gotta do the same thing. Oh, thanks, Todd. You have a uh, awesome night as well. Uh, you know, appreciate you stopping by. Always, uh, always nice to have you in here. And uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be streaming more regularly, so I'll uh, I'll definitely be around. Son of a bitch! I started as the wrong class. I don't have uh, I don't have bleed on my weapon. Although I can get that sword uh, pretty pretty quickly if I really wanted to. Oh hell. Who am I kidding? I'm probably going to end up st restarting like three or four more times. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thanks, man. That's awesome of you to say. I really appreciate that. Ooh. Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I will play a mage. Screw it. I always play melee. Maybe I'll play mage. Although I am forgetting kind of one main thing about this game. Blocking. Like, actually... Blocking. I don't know, I got really used to uh, not blocking, uh, or not really using a shield much uh, in Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 2, just because of the characters that I was playing uh, the last time I did a playthrough. Wow, you you came from all the way over there? Damn. Touch Archstone. I guess they couldn't bother with the... Or maybe just the direct translation was touch archstone. Did you drop anything? You didn't drop anything. Really? There we go. Yeah, not um not having the parry timing down is really messing with me. Or having the parry timing of the later games, is, I guess I, I should say, is, is messing with me. But uh, I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back. You gonna attack me first thing? Oh, last time it's very his opening move was an attack. Uh, I also really like the. Uh, uh, the animations for backstabs and uh, and repos. I don't know the uh, the backstab always looked awesome. I mean, just that that slight like hop backwards as you kick your sword off of them, or as you kick them off your sword. I guess would be the better way to uh, actually put it. I always thought that was a really cool looking animation. Ow. I thought I had more time. I was wrong. Shit, partial parry, damn.
Wait, did I not? Oh no, I. Wait. Oh, I'm a different character. Well, the soldier doesn't have half moon grass. When you pick it up, it automatically equips it to him. Um, but I'm not playing as a soldier. I'm playing as the knight because I screwed up. Alright, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and unequip the shield and put on, I don't know, maybe helmet? What does that put me at? Uh, 13 out of 40. If I do gloves, 15, uh, that's 20, nope, that's, wait, that might be... No, no, that is, that is bad, that is bad rolling. Since blocking really is not going to do me any good, I might as well just get rid of the shield and two-hand it. The other, I mean, the other thing with this fight is uh, just don't lock on. Much, much easier if you don't lock on. Get him away from that wall. Unfortunately, the area is uh, is actually pretty small, uh, and if you're not careful, he you will get clipped by him uh, even uh, at the furthest distance away. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I was out of stamina. That's why I didn't roll. All right, I'm starting to get a little greedy with the uh, the three hits, not leaving myself much stamina to do anything in case I need to. Hey, what are you doing? Some uh, phantoms in here as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are uh, developer uh, phantoms. Really need to heal. I need him to do something else. Wow. He really likes that move. That's like the worst possible move that uh, he could be doing right now. Oh, that'll work. All right, that should be, that should be enough to... Providing I don't screw it up, that should be enough uh, health to... To get through. I mean, ultimately, I'm gonna die anyway at the uh, the end of this. But of course, it would be the night. Why? Why the hell not? You know. Yes, warp. Uh, although, actually, I will say, from what I remember, that fight is actually much easier to do uh, with melee versus ranged. Uh, like, if you're playing as the, the mage, um, I remember, you know, playing as mage or royal, you know, either of the two, really. Uh, going and uh, trying to, like, actually shoot spells at him uh, and be locked on and, and stuff like that did not work very well at all. Uh, so, right out there... The big fucking dragon. Really big dragon. F 
Full moon grass. And I'm gonna run over here and grab these other items. Yeah, the, the, the few restarts I think is definitely worth the, uh, the uh, just amount of items and how good these items are. That's four full moon grasses, which uh, would heal me completely uh, from almost death. And a bunch of upgrade materials. Bunch of souls. Hmm. I never could figure out if this area is attached to that uh, actual tutorial area, which looks like is like a Baltaria outpost or something like that. Um, or maybe this is below that, or, or I don't know. You're to the silent chief. That's actually something that uh, I kind of wish Dark Souls had done. Um, I wish the Dark Souls uh, load screens would have actually had characters on them as well, like NPCs. Because so, realistically, I mean, I know more of the NPCs by name and look in this game than I do some of the Souls games just because there's that constant reminder of, oh, hey, there's this person, there's this person, there's this person. Yeah, and you don't have to do it for all of them. Just, you know, the, the major, major people, maybe. I mean, you could still do item descriptions. Just every once in a while, throw a person this up there. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect them to All right, first things first, got a couple items, uh, which is uh, Half Moon Grass, which I just uh, re-found out, I, or rediscovered, I guess. Um, Half Moon Grass and uh, some regular grass. Actually, you know what? I don't remember. Um, oh, no, a Soldier Soul. That's what it was. Oh, new moon grass. Oh, whoa, I was wrong. Uh, I guess the best way to explain or describe the grass is it pretty much works the same as the gems in Dark Souls 2. Uh, it's a consumable item that of varying strengths, uh, except unlike the gems in Dark Souls 2, uh, this heals you pretty instantaneous i mean like you you know you use it and you heal for for that amount uh it is not quite instantaneous but it definitely is not the uh slow uh heal that um the gems in dark souls 2 was which i actually like i i, I liked having the the gems it was a really nice uh really nice way to have the ability to heal uh without actually having to waste essence flasks all right I did not want to use that. That was me trying to hit the button on the PS4 controller, the uh, the options button, and accidentally hitting the square button at the same time. Go ahead and re-equip that stuff. Uh, get rid of that. All right. Uh, let's talk to Stockpile Thomas. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came... I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. 
All right. Uh, so this is basically your stash, um, because unlike uh, other the other games, uh, Paisley, what's up? Thanks for the host. Uh, unlike the other Souls games, you have uh, equip burden and you have item burden. So the amount that you actually are carrying has a has a limit. Um. Damn it, I keep wanting to hit R1, L1 to uh, cycle left and right, but it's L2 and or actually just left and right. Um, all right, so get rid of those, get rid of those. Uh, and you don't actually have to have the upgrade materials in your inventory in order to um, in order to upgrade. You can upgrade directly uh, uh, with them still in there, which is really nice. What's up, Paisley? How you doing? Welcome. Um, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. I'm not going to need it. There's going to be a lot of items I want to pick up in the next area. Let's go ahead and get rid of the new moon grass. Get rid of the full moon grass. Go ahead and store the demon soul so I don't accidentally use it. Rest assured. All right, cool. Are safe and sound with me. Best of luck to you. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a madman. Well, that wasn't very nice of him. Too, I was in the Nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. <laughs> I wish I could do more, but I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. Sorry to hear that. Uh, I hope I hope it gets better for you. So he abandoned his wife and daughter. Apparently, they were killed by the demon scourge when it came. Although he had to have died too, because anybody that's in the nexus had to have died, right? Best of luck to you. You here? Do you hear for my services? My name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring ordinary blacksmith who's starting to get scales. In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? Uh, so he's blacksmith. Uh, and with the stuff that I picked up in uh, the tutorial area for being the boss, you uh, you can actually upgrade. But I'm going to save those. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually if I want to use the uh, the long sword. Oh, damn. That really sucks. Although 17 years, that's that's a good amount of time for uh for uh you know, a cat especially. Perhaps you've already had, but there's another blacksmith at the entrance of Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man, but he knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul starved me. If you do meet him... Yeah, well, forget it. That stubborn old ne'er-do-well will just ignore you. So he just told us about Ed. Ed's another blacksmith. Uh, he's the blacksmith that's going to do infusion uh, on weapons, making them uh, fire, poison, stuff like that. Except in this game, you don't collect coals. You have to actually uh, bring certain items or certain. Uh, I, I want to say it's certain souls. Uh, um, I know uh, Flame Lurker. Uh, if you give his soul to him, I think it is, uh, and you can make uh, fire weapons and some other weapons. I can't remember what all of it is, but. Um, 
yeah, the upgrade system is kind of unique in this game in that there's certain uh, certain upgrade materials only work on certain wep certain kinds of weapons. Uh, but you still have the ability to take any weapon and have it uh, change it to a strength or dexterity or quality weapon, which is really nice. Oh yeah, I mean, if if she was in pain, that uh, that is unfortunate to hear. Um, sometimes it is it is better to uh, you know not have not have a, a pet suffer in that way. I mean, it's nice for them to still be there, but if they're suffering, it you know. I don't know. In, in, in my opinion, that is, uh, you know, not helping. But again, I, I'm sorry to hear to hear about that. Uh, I, I I do hope it gets better. You, you've had a, a rash of uh, bad things in the last few months. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna do anything no with him. I can tell you, you're not gonna last long here. So we kind of have that like this weird fuzzy aura around us because we're dead. Talk to this guy. Well, you crestfallen. Too, did you? You came for demon souls, or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the art stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria. So you have to go to Boletaria first. Uh, there's all these other art stones uh, here, but you, you have to go there first. And then once you finish the very first area, uh, Boletaria 1-1, one, one, I guess you could say, um, then the other ones open up and you are free to go to whichever you want, every, whichever one you want. Uh, I mean, there is a, you know, kind of a, an order that you want to go, but at the same time, if, uh, you, you can go in any order. Some areas are going to be a little bit harder directly starting off than uh, other areas, but yeah, once you once you go through Baltaria uh, one one, you pretty much have free reign to go wherever you want to. And he has nothing new to say, and and you really can see the like the, the archetype of certain characters that uh, start you know reoccur in the Soul series and uh, you know even Bloodborne. I mean like. This guy, the Crestfallen. Uh, this this guy, or a version of this guy, has been in every Souls game. And I mean, aside from just being kind of the same character, this is the this is the exposition character. A lot of times, the the one that tells you the general gist of what you need to be doing, which is really nice. Uh, I've only been streaming a little bit, but, uh, I kind of already want to go, uh, have a smoke real quick. I also want to refill my drink. Uh, Maiden in Black. Where's the Maiden in Black? I want to talk to her, too. Where'd she go? Oh, right. She doesn't reappear until after I get back from Boletaria. Uh, do you have anything else to say? It's simple. In trade? With your souls. There are only enough blacksmiths in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons, but you just have to make them. Uh, he says there's not enough blacksmiths in here to handle all the work. There's like f three... Well, okay, there's three people including him in here. How how much possible work could he have? But then again, if you were, if you were playing online, you would be seeing uh, phantoms of other players running around here. I'm not playing online because playing this game online right now, so many years after it was out, um, it is impossible to not have every single world be white tendency, which white tendency uh, makes it much, much easier and you uh, you get less souls. 
So play offline, everything starts at neutral, and you have the ability to kind of manipulate world tendency. Uh, if anybody doesn't know what world tendency is, uh, it, it's a mechanic that I really wish that they would have put into the other games. Uh, I, I, I like the concept of it a lot. Um, as you play through and kill bosses, killing a boss will move you kind of one level up in, uh, from neutral to uh, full white. Dying from uh, being alive will move you one notch down to being dark. Uh, and there's, I want to say it's five levels, neutral, and then two, uh, two above, two below. I want, I, I think if I remember correctly. Uh, but the, there are certain things that happen when a, uh, a world gets uh, light tendency or dark tendency, or an area, I guess you could say, uh, not world. Uh, when it's light tendency, you, enemies are easier and you get less souls. When it's in dark tendency, enemies uh, are harder, uh, but you get more souls. And then there's certain NPC events that will happen in dark, uh, uh, dark world and uh, light world tendencies. And those are uh, a lot of those are like NPC uh, things or. Um, there's uh, there's these creatures also I can't remember the the, the name of them but there's uh, these creatures that will appear as well that you can uh, kill I think for uh, upgrade materials if I remember correctly like specific upgrade materials like really good ones um, the equivalent of like titanite slabs basically all right uh, yeah I'm gonna go take a quick smoke break refill my drink uh, and when I come back we'll head into Boletaria one one and uh, yeah. Play some, play some fucking demon souls. All right, I will be back shortly. Oh wait, I need to get this ready. I'm so out of practice. All right, there we go. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> 